Hi, I'm Matt Hardy. This video tutorial is for the Build AES70 controller UIs with open source software. It was presented at ISE 2023 in conjunction with the Doizo exhibits on the OCA Alliance booth. Doizo builds end-to-end -end control solutions for pro audio devices. In this video, I will show how to install and run the project code. It's a basic tutorial recorded on a macOS desktop computer. The user interface uses React, AUX control widgets, and AES70.js, a full OCA controller implemented in JavaScript. Once installed, the UI controls an OCA device running in the cloud. I'll show how to install the framework on macOS and run the application in two stages. You'll need to have some experience with the terminal application to follow along. Stage 1. Open a terminal window and install the required software. Step 1. Node. To install Node, go to nodejs.org and find the correct package for your operating system. Once installed, you'll also have the Node Package Manager, NPM. Step 2. Git. To install Git on macOS, either use Homebrew or Apple's Xcode. Step 3. Homebrew. Homebrew is a package manager that helps install non-packaged software on macOS. Go to brew.sh. Copy the installation command and paste into a terminal window. Note the two last steps to finish the brew setup. Step 4. For macOS, I will use Homebrew to install the WebSocket proxy utility. This utility connects WebSockets to TCP ports. Stage 2. The first step is to install the project code from GitHub. Copy the link and git clone the repository. Step 2. Enter the project directory, run the npm install command to fetch all the web-based libraries used by the project. The front-end application requires a WebSocket proxy to connect to the remote OCA device in the cloud. Look at the readme file in the repository. You'll find a command to set up a WebSocket proxy. Copy this command into a dedicated terminal window. Once the proxy is running, your browser can send and receive AES70 packets between the OCA device and the front-end UI. In the video, you can see the UI automatically connecting to the OCA device and start rendering the UI, including metering data. Check out how the OCA device is controlled by the UI in the web browser connected through the local application while being accessed simultaneously from the cloud version of AES70 Explorer. Thank you for watching this tutorial video.
For any questions and feedback, please email me on matt at doizo.de.